please consider supporting my work on Patreon. Hey guys, welcome back to another Fable video, and today we're going to be exploring the Project Ego mod. If you don't know, it's a Russian project that I don't know if it's in development anymore, but I don't really know if this is supposed to resemble Project Ego whatsoever. It doesn't... see, it doesn't really have, like, it's... there's no fences, that's one thing they get rid of. And they deleted a lot of things, they added this, which is like the only Project Ego-esque looking thing in, like, the entire mod right here. And then, like, they don't have the demon door here. They replaced that statue with another one. I'm not sure where that one is. I think that might be in, what, the Oakvale Memorial area? Okay, the game actually decided to crash and I changed the graphics setting to make the water not blue, so let's resume where we were. I'm gonna go to the picnic area here. Now there's this wasp queen battle down here, but when I did it before, it crashed. It's, it's exactly the same as your regular wasp queen fight, so I don't want to Keep, keep crashing the game if I know it's gonna happen. A lot of spooky Russian talking. Okay, I can see this. They have this. That is really very reminds me of Project Ego. Very reminds me. That reminds me a lot of Project Ego if I can English today. And experience orbs don't make noises. And you have and there's this run mod, what that's a normal fable mod. Mm, let's see, we got there's like there's no items in the world. I think I've said that already, but it's so it's so bizarre. So let's see, let's check out Orchard Farm here. It's, I don't know why they they literally just went through and deleted a bunch of objects, I think, and linked the world together. That's the only thing I think they've accomplished here. Even though I'm an honorary member of their team, apparently, but I don't know. Oh yeah, and the free room mods on too. It, ca it came with this. Oh, but no, okay, the chest is here though. That's interesting. Yeah, everything here is normal, just without all the objects that you normally see. I think there might be a few objects, but few and far between. So we can either, I guess we can we can access Greatwood Lake either way, so let's just go this way. Okay, see, there's no bridge here for some reason, but yet they have that bridge right there. I don't understand. Let's see, they move the treasure from, I think they moved the tre that's treasure chest from over here, yeah. That's what it appears like, and they fixed the bridge, guys. Let's see here, what, what have they done? There's an assassin up here. Okay, none of the none of the enemies have like any like I don't know what they call AI, I guess. Wait, did? Oh wait, now they do. Just when we're on that bridge, it didn't. Okay, when he's on this bridge, it. He's totally, like, broken, so let's just keep him on the bridge. Okay, thank god. <laughs> got 10,000 gold for that, alright. I guess they moved the silver key up. That's cool. Yeah, and then we have a whole lot of stone and leaves up here. Too bad I can't read any of the signs, because... Oh, there is no sign. They took the sign out. I should have known. Okay, so we have a sign here for some reason. Oh yeah, let's hope there's no more enemies, because I don't want to die. Let's see, there's no bridge there. We have... No tents. Not, no bridge here. I guess they were planning to do something, but I don't know what exactly. Okay, we just have bandits. Nothing new there. So I wonder if they're going to chase me forever now. Alright, we have Greatwood Callus Gate. Everything looks normal here, except there's a big old gaping hole where there would be a uh, teleporter and there's a dead body on the ground. That's flickering out of existence sometimes. It might be helpful if I could re read Russian, but I can't. You know, for a second there I thought it wasn't in the same spot, but yeah, I think it is. Okay, they have the, the little spiny things, but they don't have the treasure. Completely empty shell. Alright, let's head on to Greatwood Caves. Like straight up on these hills and see if it's that way. <laughs> Wait, it's right here. Yeah, because this is where Hob Cave would be. That's where that demon door would be. So this is the entrance to the dark wood. Okay, it transitions over with the skybox. That's good. And then back. Yeah, I don't think the skybox is functioning. Okay, so what do we have here? I think this is. What is this? It's which wood? Something or another, if I can... You can definitely tell this is really early on mod. Since they're at the music still from summer, the Summer Fields music. Like, it's like, it just gets really confusing. It's like it's a big clusterfuck joined together. 
And then we have like the low poly textures. You usually see those like in the Fable filler areas. So I guess they join the filler areas together if I had to guess. I was like, I've been trying to find Oakvale in this somewhere, but I don't know, because it's not like it's not like you can just load a save from Oakvale and it'll take you there, because it's like completely separate from it. And it looks like we've reached the edge again. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything out here. Alright, let's see, what do we have? It looks like we might be getting somewhere. Or it could be a lie, I don't know. I was like, I saw water down there, so that might be give me some hope that we're actually heading in it. Oh, okay, yeah, here's Witchwood. Why do I keep saying Witchwood Darkwood Lake? Or Darkwood Marshes, rather, not Lake. Yeah, I guess there's no Bordello. Whoa, don't go down there. Oh, what have I done? Okay, that would have sucked if I fell through the world. And then just a bunch of trees. Wonder, okay, let's see how the Chapel of Scorm's look in here. Oh, okay, but the music plays for it. That's interesting. Let's see, I said we might find Oakvale. If I can figure out how to navigate through this. This mess. I did, I did notice on the mini map there is that little house icon there. So maybe it is in that direction, I'm not sure. Our ancient cow, the moly, that was. Oh, wait, did they enlarge it? I think they made him bigger. Or I might be just remembering things wrong, I don't know. Okay, we might actually get to Oakvale if we're lucky. I think like over a year ago I did something with uh, budget builds when I was still known as Lion Blade. Let's see, there's no hole for the cave. So can we find where... Okay, we're getting somewhere I think because we got like an empty plane of nothing. So I guess maybe this map is a bit useful. I don't know. Or I think maybe it's not in... Or is it? Oh, wait, yeah, I think it actually is here, because there's trees and a path, and... Oh, yeah, here's Oakvale. Actually stuff in here. Okay, the traders work, that's interesting. This is, like, the only place, so I wonder if they've worked only on this. Oh, okay, they, yeah, they changed the animation. So you have, like, a little drinking animation there. What do we got here? We have the Oakvale dock. That looks exactly the same. Except they added a silver key for it for some reason. Alright. And there's a sign, if I can get over to it. Okay, that seems like a place where I can teleport to, so let me explore over here in Oakvale a little bit more before we do that, because it could crash the game. Yeah, it seems Oakvale's like the only thing that functions, or like it's in its original state still. Okay, let me go over here to the Oakvale Memorial. Okay, so since the game decided to crash me when I, uh, went to bed. I'm not going to do that again. So, yeah, let's just go over here and uh, see what they have going on over here, I guess. Let's see, but we do have this. Alright, we have a bow now. Let's see what... That's interesting. What does that do? Okay, it's a bit confusing what it does. Okay, yeah, it's just your normal bow. Okay, the guards aren't gonna do jack shit because that doesn't work. Oh, so we have we have that one. So I guess maybe the all the gravestones work, even if it's here. We have a villager over here. Yeah, there's burial fields. See, I don't know where the memorial is. It's probably like located in some back ass spot for all I know. I gotta say, they did do a pretty seamless job on joining every place together. Alright, let's see what we have up here. Yeah, here we go. We have Twin Blades Camp. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got we got a chicken. We have trader stalls. Man, this mod really makes the camps feel very small. I mean, it didn't really feel that big in the original. And what do we got here? We have Twin Blades Tent. See, look, my icon's like off the map now, so... The map isn't completely accurate, but... It's pretty, pretty accurate, I'd say. Well, let's see, I wonder... Any other places? Because you can't, like... Other than just the mainland of LB, and you really can't go to Witchwood. What do we got over here? If you look over there, I was like, I think it's probably gonna just take me all the way back to where I just was. 
Or maybe it's just a random dot on the map. Just oh, no, we're getting very close to it. No, it's just a bandit for some reason. Yeah, we're just heading in loops now, but that was a look at the Project Ego mod. It's very interesting what they accomplished here. They joined the entire world together, and we got this camera mod and everything. We got run mod, and we'll get around the world faster, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.